how to get immediate and instant compliance with your requests. This is the 365 Days of Multi-Level Marketing Journey to Freedom Podcast with Rome Batchelor, where Rome shares his daily journey from down and out to total financial freedom in one year, along with pro tips, tricks, strategies, and tools to help you join in on the journey. Now, here's Rome with today's Journey to Financial Freedom Podcast. So how to get immediate and instant compliance with your request, your demands, your suggestions. And this applies to not only your prospecting, especially your prospecting, but this applies with working with your downline. This applies in all your relationships with your children, even with your spouse. You know, this can apply and does apply to every conversation you ever have that is meant to go somewhere. See, there are idle words which scare me because of that Bible verse that says we're going to be judged for every idle word that comes out of our mouth. That one kind of freaks me out. However, there are working words. So if you're a mover, a shaker, a doer, somebody that's going somewhere in this world, it requires other people to assist you along the way or even play a very large role in what you're doing. So in order to do that, people, if you can't get people to comply with your requests, you'll never be able to achieve anything of a team sort. So you have to get compliance. And the biggest problem is people don't often understand inertia. See, things in motion tend to stay in motion. Things that are still tend to stay still. When people start out, when you start out with too large a request, when you fall instantly in love with somebody you see in public and you've never met them and you go up to them and say, hey, will you spend the rest of your life with me? They might look at you kind of crazy. It's probably not going to go anywhere, but you might start with a smile and see if they smile back. You might start with an introduction or uh, saying your name and see if they give you their, your, their name back. It might t- start with a handshake and see if they shake back. See, then that's a degree of compliance. Then you can move to a conversation. If they comply with that, then you move to a more uh, intimate, you know, a more personal conversation or maybe having coffee. But it's incremental steps. That's the way it traditionally works. That's the way we're wired unconsciously. That's in our d- genetics. That's how we're used to doing things. So if you start with too large a request up front, hey, you want to join my business, then people will reject that. Hey, you know, you need to join this business. People will reject that because it's too big of an abrupt step. It's not the way our minds are wired. We're wired for small incremental steps. So things that are motion tend to stay in motion. When you start with the teeny tiny small incremental steps, the smallest step first, break it down to the smallest request first. Then if they comply, you can follow up either quickly or over a space of time with something a little larger and build up patiently to a larger and larger request. Because when people comply with your request, unconsciously, they sell themselves that they like you and trust you to do it. When you ask for a small favor and people actually do it, they have just sold themselves that they like you and respect you enough to do that favor for you. Quite often, those feelings of trust and like were at a bare minimum in the beginning. But if you can get them to do a small favor for you, those feelings and that, that level of trust and respect and, and like for you has just increased, you know, measurably, measurably. So what you can do in your prospecting, think about this as you're working with your downline, think about this with your children. Get If they're not obeying you, there's probably other problems to solve as well. However, it may be that you're asking or demanding too large a request and you might need to kind of whitewash the, the relationship a little bit and start over with lower expectations and ask for small requests from the heart and then, you know, depending on their age, and then 
build up to larger and larger and larger requests because at each step they sell themselves that they respect you. At each step they sell themselves that they care about your feelings and your request and what your and your and they trust in you and your your relationship and demands to them. And you can build up incrementally. And so what that means is that in your prospecting you can do the same thing. See, if you just send them the link. And again, I believe in sending them the link right at the time of the presentation when they're going to look at it and you're on the phone with them because of our mirror neurons episode you can refer back to. However, there are times you're going to send them a link at, at any point. And when you just send that to them, the, what action did they take? They didn't take any. That was all passive on their end. It was action on your end. You're the one invested, not them. You want them to invest some action towards you, towards your request. And then they sell themselves that they must have some interest. They sell themselves that they like you enough to to just be open-minded. They sell themselves that they trust you enough to write that down. So what you want to do is you want to use the GAP method, G-A-P, grab a pen. In fact, you should grab a pen right now. So I'm going to say, go because you're the coachable person, because you've chosen to be a teachable, coachable leader, you want to be coachable right now and follow through and grab a pen or pick up your phone and write a note or your tablet or your computer or whatever, anywhere that you can document what I'm about to say and write down G-A-P. Type in G-A-P. Grab a pen. And that will be your note to remind you to use this in your next conversation of prospecting. Grab a pen. See, when you get them to grab a pen and write something down, hey, Bob, real quick, this is important. Write this down. Grab a pen. Write this down. This is important. You'll want to write. Hey, Bob, go ahead and grab a pen because you're going to want to write this down using that because. And when they do it, you tell them what to write down. It could be the link. It could be just a very important piece of information related to your business. And then you want to have them read it back. Okay, go ahead. Do me a favor. Read it back to me. Make sure you wrote it down correctly. You know, if it's a website, for example. And that will then highlight, and that's a compliance again, because they're reading it back to you. That's just highlighting and underlying and underscoring the importance of the information to themselves because they read it back to you because they wrote it down. And then the, uh, the, the percentages of them actually going to that and looking at it just increased. Not only is it for reference so they can see it again later and, or remind them when they have time to look, but also it underscores the importance and it got them invested in the information because they took action on it. They didn't just listen to you talk. So then the odds of them being interested actually increase as well because they took action on it, which they pre-sold themselves that they must have a little bit of interest, a little bit of trust in you to look at it with an open mind and to look at it with the right, you know, through the right lens, so to speak. So that not only does it increase your chances that they actually look, but it'll also increase your chances of them being open-minded or interested after they do look. Then you continue that with incremental request. Your next, Bob, you know, on a scale from one to 10, how do you see yourself getting involved? Or is there anything else you need to know? Or does this look like anything you'd like some more information on? Have you seen anything in the last, you know, in that 15 minute video, in that 10 minute video, in that 20 minute webinar that interests you enough that you'd like some more information about it? And they say, yes, you pause, you wait. That's my favorite close. Have you seen anything here that interests you enough? that you'd like some more information. See, it's non-committal, but if they say yes, it's engaging the law of consistency. Things in motion tend to stay in motion. Things that are still tend to stay still. So if they say yes to that, then you could say, hey, okay, grab, grab a pen again. I'm going to give you your next step. And then you give them something else. So they can discover the information. But that first one, you want to be on the line with them watching because of their mirror neurons when it's possible. It's not always possible. It's not always something, you got to be flexible, but we have a target here to increase your chances and sometimes you have to vary from it a little bit. But you want to get them to invest in by taking a small action by you gapping them, grab a pen. 
utilize the gap method, realize the law of consistency that people tend to comply with small requests easier. And then when they comply with the small, they'll tend to comply with a larger one. And you can build up over time incrementally. And if, as long as there's some degree of rapport, that will, should continue to work. As long as you do, don't do anything to disrupt that rapport. And the fact that they listen and they wrote it down and they, or they complied with that little action, it actually builds the rapport that you had. It actually builds the rapport that you had. So as long as you don't do anything to disrupt that, as long as your requests are not too crazy too quickly, and just normal, basic, small, incremental requests, and you get compliance, you gauge that, you reward that, if you can, in some small way, um, and then they will tend to comply with a larger request. I'm getting sirens here. So that's today's podcast, day 36, getting immediate compliance by asking for them to take a small, incremental, teeny tiny action step, and then you can build from that base. And you will notice you will get further with less effort and less follow-up. And you'll have a happier growing business. That's today's Journey to Freedom podcast. If you haven't done so, be that coachable person that you have chosen to be so that you can be a great leader. Right now, grab a pen and write down G-A-P. Thank you for joining me in the journey today. This is Rome Bachelor. Until our next episode, be sure to grab a pen now. Thank you for sharing today's 365 Days of MLM to Freedom podcast. And remember to email your questions and comments directly to Rome at 365 Days of MLM at gmail.com. And until next time, we want to encourage you to join in on the journey.